and go out or something. I have been. Bumped into Beck on the way to court. I assume it's the magistrates, right? I'll probably refer straight to Crown. Do you reckon she'll get bail? How shall I know? So they could keep her in there. Well, it depends whether or not they think she's a threat. These are serious allegations, you know, and if she's found guilty, she'll go to prison for years. And then she'll have to sign a sex offenders register. I know. So basically she's had it. We're out of bread, Tom. We're gonna have to pop downstairs. Tom? seem weird that I've waited till now to tell the police. Yeah, it does. Been wanting to get away for months. So why now? I couldn't take any more out. She was using me, I felt trapped. It's been like this since she first started teaching me. I knew she fancied me. She was always sitting close and touching me and stuff. Then she made my mum agree to have private lessons. Got worse, the abuse. She made me sleep with her. <laughs> made you? I'm sorry, man, but most guys I know can only dream about sleeping with a girl like Becca. I'm not saying I hated it. It was exciting at, at first. And? Then she started playing with my head, manipulating me. That's why I knew it was wrong. So why carry on? She made it impossible for me to say no. And she tried to kill herself. When? After Jake left her. She was on her own and pregnant. She, she wanted me to move in with her, to say that I'd be the father of the baby and stuff. And? Well, I said no. Next thing I know, she's on the phone telling me she's taken an overdose. Saying that it's my fault that Jake left her. And that I should support her. And if you didn't? She'd do it again. She said that... If I left her then, she'd do herself in. I ran the baby. And now you're kicking back. She used me. She could see that I was weak and she took advantage. She best left her my sister's died. She'd do anything to get what she wants. And I don't want her abusing some other kid like she abused me. Come, um, as long as you know what you're doing. I do. Okay. Look, I, I have what happened to Justin. Has he withdrawn a statement yet? He's not going to. They charged me. I've been in court this morning. Look, you better come up to the flat. No, no, I can't. Um, it's Justin staying at Valentine's. Um, well, I'll take you home. Come on. That was great. Really? Yeah, after you choked out all the boring stuff. It looks okay on paper. <laughs> well, uh, so what's in store next week? Oh, um, popular culture. Oh, so you won't be getting your kit off then? Oh, no, that depends on how bored you get. <laughs> Nancy, what are you doing here? How was your lecture? Good. How's Becca? Is she out? I'd better catch up with the others. We're going to the canteen if you fancy it. Maybe. Thanks. What happened? They were so horrible to her. I thought they were going to lock her up there and then. Oh, hey. They referred the case to Crown Court. Oh, at least she's free. Yeah, but for how long? It's all so real now. She might actually go to prison. Do you want to get some lunch or something? I've got to get back to Becca. Will you come with me? Oh, of 
got a seminar in 20 minutes. I suppose I could cancel it. Oh, no, it's OK. I'll come straight back, I promise. Where's Calvin? I'm having a kip. Ain't he thrown you out yet? No, not yet. Oh, Paper was asking about you. I wants to know if you're going to football training tonight. <sighs> Doubt it. Hey, you keep missing games, you're going to be out of the team. Can't you tell him that I'm ill or something? Uh, he knows what's going on. Everyone does. Well, they're all talking about you. Yeah? No one can believe it. Believe what? That you went to the police and all that. We all thought you had it made, you know. Older woman. Your own flat. No one knew you were shacked up with some psycho. Cut! Cut!